Greetings from Revelation Church. Welcome to a new episode of Word and Worship, a midweek segment from our church to encourage you. Psalm 119 verses 105 and 111 says, Your word is a lamp to my feet and a light to my path. Your statutes are my heritage forever. They are the joy of my heart. Stephen Matthew will lead us in worship and Pastor Belief will minister God's word to us. Receive from the Lord what He has in store for you today. Jesus bless you. Greetings to you in the matchless name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Blessed by that song of prayer led by Stephen. That song is an affirmation that God is our victory and He is with us now. Amen. God is with us now in the present. He is not distant from us. That's such a powerful declaration to make. That God is with us now. He is our victory and He is with us now. We must understand that Christian life is not an ordinary life. There is nothing mundane about the Christian life. In fact, Christian life is a life full of victories and triumph. Christian life is a life of progress and growth. Christian life is a life of overcoming and celebrating. We must understand that this is our portion in life. This is the nature of the life that we have in Christ. I'm going to explain to you what I meant when I said Christian life is a life of progress, a life of victory, a life of triumph. Let us look at 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. It says, But thanks be to God, who always leads us in triumph in Christ Jesus and manifests through us a sweet aroma of the knowledge of Him in every place. Now, before I explain the scripture, let's look at what Jesus said about this life that we live. He said, In this life you will have troubles. In this life you will have challenges. In this life you will have trials. But He also said, be of good cheer because I have overcome the world. Now in that context, let us try to understand 2 Corinthians chapter 2 and verse 14. It says, it's a, it's a verse which says, But thanks be to God who always leads us in triumph in Christ Jesus. Now I want you to pay close attention to that opening line in that verse, that opening section of that verse. It says, Christ, God will always lead us in triumph. 
this God who is always leading us in triumph. Now, how does God lead us in triumph? It goes on to say, in Christ. Amen. That means our victories, our triumph, our overcoming is in our identity in Christ. Because we are in Christ, because we remain in Christ, because we abide in Christ, we can live a life full of victories. We can live a life full of triumph. We can live a life full of overcoming. Amen. In fact, many Christians try to have victories outside of their identity in Christ. Many Christians try to pursue success um, disconnected from the reality of who they are in Christ. It does not work that way. Our victories stem or our victories flow from the fact that we are in Christ. God has predestined for us victories. God has predestined for us triumphs. God has predestined for us overcoming. How? By our existence in Christ. Dear Christian, you are in Christ. You are placed in Christ. You've been baptized into Christ. You've been called a life to live in Christ. Amen. And I'm going to explain how this works. Because Christ has overcome the world, you can also overcome the world. Because Christ has triumphed, you can also triumph in life. Because Christ is a victor, you can also be a victor. It is in Him you have victory. It is in Him that you can walk in triumph. It is in Him that you will have success. It is in Him that you can live a life of overcoming. Amen. Now what kind of victory are we talking about when we talk about the victory of Christ? When we study the Bible, we understand that Christ was a victor over sin. We understand that Christ was a victor over death. We understand that Christ was a victor over the devil and all his forces. We understand that Christ was a victor over all the forces of darkness. Everything to do, everything that Christ faced in life, he emerged a victor. He emerged a victor in temptations. He emerged a victor in trials. He emerged a victor in sufferings. He emerged a victor every time that he was subject to, he was, he was made to encounter the issues of life. Amen. Now, it is into this life that we have been called. As Christ is, as Jesus was, so are we in this world. As Jesus is, so are we in this world. Everything to do with Christ has come to us because we are now placed in Christ. We are now positioned with Christ in the heavenly places. We cannot be separated from Christ. In fact, your victories cannot be separated from who you are in Christ. So it is vain for a Christian to pursue after victory, to pursue after success outside of his or her identity in Christ. It is in your identity in Christ. It is in who you are in Christ. It is in your existence in Christ, your victories come from. Amen. And I want to encourage you. I don't know, maybe right now you're facing situations in life and it may not look like that you're heading to victory. It may not look like that you're heading for success. It might look otherwise. It might look bleak and dark and gloomy. But I want to encourage you. As long as you remain in Christ, as long as you abide in Christ and His words abide in you, you have to realize that you have access to victory, which is the victory of Christ Jesus. That's why the scripture says, and thanks be to God who always, it says always, leads us in triumph. Hallelujah. He always leads us in triumph in Christ and manifests through us the aroma of Christ. Amen. God wants to lead you in triumph and He wants to diffuse through you, through your life, through the experiences of your life, through the uh, issues of your life, through how you live your life and carry your life, the victories that you, uh, that you testify, th through the triumphs that you can boast about, you are diffusing the aroma of Christ. You are manifesting the smell of Jesus Christ and His victorious life. Amen. You smell Jesus. Your life smell the victory of Jesus. Uh, it may not look like it all the time, but if you can be aware of who you are in Christ, and if you can be aware of His victory, His triumph, you don't need to be worried about anything. I want to encourage you, dear Christian, do not look down on yourself. Do not look beat. Do not look uh, upset. Do not be upset about uh, the issues that you face in life. Have the mindset of a victor, because the one who is in you, 
is a conqueror that's why that's why the bible calls us we are we are more than conquerors in christ we are more than conquerors we will overwhelmingly conquer everything that we face in life we have access to that kind of power to walk in victory to walk in overcoming power amen you cannot be subject to the issues of life you cannot be brought down or bogged by the issues of life you will always be the head and not the tail you will always remain on top of life amen do not be distracted by anything do not do not be worried by what you see now but remember christ is the victor and he is your victory and his he is with you now i want to pray for you before i close and i want to encourage you one more time do not look down on who you are do not be upset about the things that are going on around you always remember always be conscious of who you are in christ always be aware of your existence in christ and encourage yourself in the word of god the word will never fail the word will never lie the truth of god's word will is forever settled it will always 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 prevail in your life father in the name of jesus i come to you i bless your people uh, even as i pray for them lord i pray whatever they are facing in life lord they will come forth they will come forth with victory they'll come out of that situation in with a victory with a testimony with a triumph lord they'll come forth just like jesus emerged a victor over sin and death just like jesus emerged emerged a victor triumphantly over every every scheme of the enemy lord i pray that your people will experience that same power will experience that same triumph uh, over every situation nothing will cause them to be subject to the issues of life nothing will cause them to be subdued in life but they will emerge failure will not be an option in their lives lord i bless them with victory i bless them with success i bless them with success the defeat is not a, con- a consideration in their lives it will not it will cease to be consideration in their, in their lives lord because they're going to rise above the situation by the overcoming power of jesus christ they're going to triumph in life in jesus i bless them in jesus name amen amen God bless you. God bless you.